Scalable Vector Shapes 2D ships an importer for SVG files. Scalable Vector Graphics. The W3C spec for SVG is quite big, so only a small subset of features is supported. Let's look at the import settings for a moment. The importer gives us the option to import shapes as is without the extra drawing features of the Scalable Vector Shape 2D node. Instead, a plain Node 2D will in this case wrap around the Godot native Polygon 2D for the fill and a Line 2D for the stroke. Choosing to import as Scalable Vector Shape 2D, it's a good idea to set an editor lock on the imported nodes. This way their points and transforms cannot be manipulated directly, making it easier to use the Scalable Vector Shape 2D for that. We can also choose to import collision polygons. Just drag in an SVG file anywhere into the dock to start the import process. And the import log is filled with warnings and messages, including this helpful link to report issues. Gradients are important as a gradient texture 2D resource on the Polygon 2D. Radial gradients are also supported. Aside from animating and manipulating shapes more easily, one more feature of the Scalable Vector Shapes plugin deserves attention. Infinite Zoom. By default, SVG shapes are converted and imported as a static raster image. Although the lack of resolution slash blurriness of our little rat can be overcome using map mapping and a greater scale in the resource import tab, just look at the memory profile of the resulting texture. Having a 3000 by 2000 pixels big rat consuming 35 megabytes of video memory caused mobile webkit browsers to refuse to render some resources altogether for me. You can reach out via the comments or get in touch with me on Blue Sky. Thanks for watching.